Welcome back guys to another video on Kilber Space Program. Today I'm going to be showing off the YSS-1000 Sabre Starfighter, which is a design request on the KSB forums by a guy or girl, I have no idea, called, let me just have a look at that, uh, Sidonia. Yes, so thank you for that request. Uh, I, this request wasn't specifically to me, it was anyone who case, plays KSB, but I decided to do this since I've pretty much designed anything on the game. And here we are. <laughs> so if you just take off this bottom part, uh, we're left with the top part. And that's pretty much uh, how the design looks in Halo Reach, except for the color, because you, know, you can't really get the color changed in this game unless you have a mod. Let's put this on the side. So what happens is uh, these engines start off. Uh, it should take us about mm, halfway through the atmosphere. I haven't really tested it out properly. Then disconnects the stage, and then these four engines here start up. So it's one, two, and then there's two more there. It does quite look good. It looks quite nice. So in here we have, if you can see, wings. So there are some wings there, and wing connectors in there. That's a wing connector. It's a bit hard to see. But it's there. There's two wing connectors there and two wing connectors there. And in the design, um, it actually had a sort of slope going down in there. And I even did that slope. So that is nice and maybe just for safety reasons. Oh, I had uh, so a wing, if I can find it. Bang. And small control surface. Bang. And if I'm doing this right. Yep. Here we go. Now, maybe the escape, escape hatch is obstructed. I have no idea, but I don't care. <laughs> I ain't going to be taking out the kerbals anytime soon. So, let's give this thing a test. Okay, looking good so far. T full throttle and spacebar. And I spacebar twice accidentally. That's fine, nothing bad happened. So it's going. Still going. Fuel is good. It's pretty good. Uh, we can retract these G bays. That's right. That's good. Check the status of the internals. Anything interesting around here? No. Nope. Anything? Where? Taking its time. <laughs> it's quite slow fast enough. I noticed that there's a weird shape in the ocean there recently. Like everywhere else you didn't see that. It's only here. Hmm. Alright, good. This is gonna turn off in a second. Alright, nice. Plenty of fuel. We have a total of, what's this, about three here. So, yeah, each engine gets about three fuel tanks. And then these ones on the side just get one. I'm looking forward to the next update as I uh, had a look at a few snapshots of the planet and it keeps on getting better. So that's nice. Check where we are. Let's try and match that circle. Once we get this circle about here, then I will uh, start turning it a bit. 
Maybe I could stop doing that now. I will go up to 90. Yeah. We're gonna do it even more. Throttle down so we can control it. Easily. Save some fuel in case we're wasting it on a mistake. That always happens. With auto. I think an engine fuel just wasted. Yeah. That's alright. <laughs> I don't know if that's enough. I don't think it is. No, probably not. Good enough. Alright, so it's officially wasted. Oh well. <laughs> Still, I'm happy with it. Pretty good. It got this far out. That's a challenge usually. We'll fast forward it. We'll look a bit of a crash landing in the ocean. Yeah. Fast forward, please. There's the ocean. It's positioned positioned itself correctly. Uh, at least we know what's the heaviest point on this aircraft. The ground part. Let's try and lift up. Oh, okay. Wow. It's doing pretty well. So it can glide, giving that you control it. That was nice. Okay, so this one, uh, I got it to orbit, but I used the dev cheats, and I made a perfect orbit. This is uh, the same circle you saw before when I attempted to go to space, and this is quite good. <laughs> so now we're going to show off Mark II, which has these jet engines there. Alright, here's a Mark II with the jet engines. Try it out. We're not going to go to space this time, we'll just fly around the planet instead. And try and get this balanced. Nothing smashed to pieces, I don't think. Here comes the lag spike. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Those damn things down there. I'm pretty sure I clicked end flight when the the machine there smashed the pieces, but all the parts remained. Which is not a good thing. This freaking cause too much lag. I've been having problems with that for the past couple of episodes. So I should delete my uh save file. To fix it up. So yeah, this is with jet engines. Yeah. We'll try and land this as well. See how that goes. Maybe we can try doing that now. Throw down about halfway. Do a glide job. Yep. Throw down fully. Throw up a bit. 
Go down. Too slow. Hesitate a bit. It's good to hesitate in the game, right? <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna crash and lift up. Still falling down. Good. The brat sprites on there. Whoa! Uh, 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 uh. Whoa! Did we make it? Uh oh! This thing's going crazy. B for break. B for break. Whoa! Look at the front go down. Right. <laughs> this looks funny. And it doesn't do that anymore. So, it can land. That is one feature that the rocket inhaler reach, I don't think, had. Other than landing on a spaceship. Yeah, I remember that part. Oh well. Look how fast it's going now. It's not that fast on takeoff. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the end of the episode. Hope you liked the design. Yeah, it was quite simple in my opinion. Nothing complex. It does look cool. Not the coolest design I've ever made, but it works. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.